Hello everybody, this is the Place Games, and welcome back to Crossout 101 Guides. Today are we gonna go over the seasons, as well as weapon classifications. So which weapon is classified as what kind of general weapon. First off, seasons are uh, uh, used up in between a easy, medium and hard one. The easy one is played in easy uh, mode on raids, and will be reward with 300 scrap metal. The medium one... It gives a one rush great and is played in normal missions. Well, the hard one gives a ap uh, epic raid f uh, with a uh, hard mission. All have eight m separate missions. For example, this one, the first one, you need to in install shotguns. Now you have to win seven matches in sh missions or brawls. Mission or brawls are the if you go into battle here missions and brawls. These are the PvP ones, well the raids are, these are the easy raids, the one with 20 fuel. And uh, the medium one is the one with 40 fuel, not the invasion, invasion is not accounted for this. Only the for normal 40 fuel one, and the one out of fuel is considered the uh, hard one. Okay, uh, we have ba that basically covered up. I do want to point out this, uh, this one here, you can see normal difficulty raids. This one. Or difficult raids. This one instead says install cannons. Install cannons means you have to, or have uh, install. Ba uh, I mean, it means you have to have that part on the build. You do not have to use it. You have to just have. To, you just need it on the build. Install, install, use here. Use t uh, shotguns to destroy twenty players. That means that you need to use the shotguns. To destroy the players. Basically, the final shot needs to be coming from a shotgun that you installed on your vehicle. Basically, what that means, you need one shotgun and any other weapons you like. Just finish them off with the shotgun, and that it will account for in this mission. To show off what weapons are from what kind, I'll use the little guide that you can fin find by clicking on your name, and then you get to portray it, and then you go to guide. You. Uh, the first ones are the ma machine guns. The machine guns have the, if you look at that part here, the uh, little circle, you uh, see the four rounds next to each other, that's the uh, machine gun tag. Therefore, if you need the machine guns, shotguns are considered the uh, little shotgun slugs. Cannons are the ones that have these this large cannon-like structure with the little lines. It's machine gun, machine gun, shotgun, shotgun. This is an auto cannon. You see three rounds next to each other with a little star at the point. Cannon. This is a turreted cannon. You can see how it's a circle around the turret instead of like these lines. Here you got rockets. Rockets have the three rockets as icon. Active melee weapons have the have some kind of saw, rotary saws. Uh, f uh, thing is also that. This one is also one, but however this one is considered an proximity mine instead of the melee weapon, so that's a difference. This is automatic machine gun. This little, and you can see the little target up top, but it's still considered a machine gun. Machine gun, Gatling guns, are. Uh, you can see the six different barrels. Mass attack, shotgun again, auto cannon, normal cannon, turret cannon. Here you got grenades, you can see some kind of circle that explodes, which uh, these are the, those are the grenades. This is an unguided rocket launcher, it says, but it is a uh, guided ro uh, rocket launcher, considered not a homing launcher, uh, homing missile launcher like this one, but a guided missile one. You can see one rocket with two little arrows. Here you got more unguided rockets, here you got homing missile, you can see one rocket with some kind of lock-on tag up the tip. Active melee, uh, spare, minigun again, shotgun. Mandrake, you got you simply get the uh, locus of the Mandrake howitzer on it. It's considered howitzer filled turret cannon. I made a grenade launcher here. More melee stuff. Flamethrowers. Flamethrower have the flamethrower attack. I do not expect these to uh, the legendary versions to pop up in the season raids. Most of the time there are common parts for the easy ones, rares for the normal ones, and epics for the hard ones. They can appear, possibly. This one has barrel. This is a mine layer, so this is not the proximity mine. Proximity mines are these pairs. This uh, scorpion pulse accelerator is 
uh, this little so kind of speed shell back. Now I'm gonna explain what most bul uh, bolts are gonna use. Basically, machine guns are. Uh, I'm gonna take the these ones. Machine guns are the medium range all around automatic weapons. They're good on pretty much any kind of bolt, so they're not really specialized. They do not really special. Yeah, they do not specialize in anything. They're not great in anything or bad at anything. Shotguns are of a short range bolt, and they are designed for disarming mainly, so anti weapon usage. Auto cannons are used for long range bolts, and again for the anti weapon role, so they're good for sniping weapons. Cannons and turret cannons are for raw destruction, so they are good at shooting off parts and uh, finishing off targets from long range. Uh, AT Wasps are short, more short range versions of the cannons with more DPS, however less accuracy. They're, same, they're also the same destruction role. Weapon uh, like the Basal and the Auger are also destruction style role. They're also mainly for killing units and shooting off their parts. Explosive Spears are assassination style units. They are for one hit kills, one attack, one kill. Caucasus is a defensive weapon, you don't really have control of it, but it is also similar to machine guns. Machine gun, mini guns. Mini guns are also all around, however they're a little bit more close range than the Spectre and like the other machine guns. And they have a, hi a slightly higher DPS. More shotguns, cannons, grenade launchers. Grenade launchers are also destructive type. They're extremely, extremely effective at this point. Uh, at this uh, role for the retro, for example, it might not be able to kill units effectively or disarm people effectively. However, if you should just use two of them and you shoot them at an enemy, you can just see all the parts flying off. The clarinet toe is an assassin style weapon for long range kills from unexpected angles. Be sure just to stay on scene with the assassin style weapons. Quick at destruction type again. Homing missiles. Homing missiles are also between assassination and uh, destruction class. They can fulfill both roles, however, it's a bit of an awkward, awkward weapon. Again, melee weapon for destruction and spears for assassination. Reaper mini gun is all around. Hammerfall is for disarming. Mandrake is for area denial, which is a new one, a class, I would say. Area denial is to make sure that an enemy, if it wants to go into a certain area, they will have to pay the price for it and it will take heavy, pretty heavy damage. This is thanks to the flaming puddle of the Mandrake. Mammoth, again, destruction. Ratchet is also destruction. Hurricane is assassination. Still, Harvester is another destruction part. Firebug is an, another uh, area denial weapon. They are, they are extremely powerful, but their range is pretty short. They're also good at the destruction role or as an assassination, bit of a combination of those two. You should go like behind the back because if you are destroy if these things are destroyed they'll explode and you'll damage in a radius. Porcupines are uh, assassination weapons. You should use a few of them at the same time and then attack somebody from behind. And scorpions are snipers or assassins or anti weapon roles. Also. They also are critical hitters, I would say. They are good with their armor piercing rounds to deal like specific damage against, for example, generators. If you know where a generator is on a build, you can penetrate the armor around it and just take it out even without, with the armor still being on. So, I'm gonna take some uh, more examples. So, take a look at this here. Here you can see cooling modules are rarity rare or higher. So, I'm gonna cover those things as well. These are considered cooling module uh, cooling modules. The radiators are oh, sorry the radiators here are said to be cooling modules however they are radiator modules so in the season you will say radiator modules are uh, of certain rarity. Uh, these are the coolers weapon cooler and the improved cooler right here. Got radars, radios, uh, boosters, 
Guard jack is not really used. Fuel barrel here. These are engines. Engine, engine, generators. Ammo packs right here. Uh, radiator, cooler, Seth, more radar. This is what I could call an active radar or radar detector. Which is different from normal radar, but normal radar are only for people inside. Well, radar detector also detects people that are not in direct sight. Charmeleon is stealth module. So, turrets, deployer, attack drone. Sidekick drones are the drone and turrets. Which are going to be noted specifically. More booster, this is a scope right here. Fuel tank. More engines, generator, ammo pack, radiator cooler, radar, radar detector, more chameleon, more turrets, and the booster. I want to point out for the uh, specific engines here, module reload speed increased by 20%. This goes for things like boosters, chameleon uh, stuff, uh, and the turret style deploying stuff. So anything you, any of these right here is the hardware, any of these ones that can be activated and have a cooldown time. So for example, I'm going to stick a booster on this thing. You activate it, here press F, you see it become grey and then so initiating a cooldown state. As similar as the new weapons that are reloading. Any module in the hardware class of the uh, total guide here. Uh, that is basically the um, any one of these hardware parts is considered uh, a module like that because that they will get an increase. I will give you an example of that. Gonna load up this cabin. Stick a uh, just for now only a booster on. Gonna activate it and uh, gonna count down on how quick it is with the cooldown. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, pretty much seven seconds. And if I add the aircraft engine, which basically is the same as the V8 engine, however, it looks differently. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, six seconds. So basically, uh, second cooldown. Just well, just over a second cooldown, which fits with the twenty percent module reload speed increase. That's for the epic aircraft engine and the epic V8 engine, specifically. Anyway, that concludes the guide for t uh, for this episode as well. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment down below for anything you specifically want to see from me. And if what you think about the guide so far, etc, etc, etc. So, this was the Cat Best Games. And see you guys all later. Bye bye.